Peace and blessings. Big up to my happy, healthy life family. I already know what it is. Calisthenics at home. When I say no games, let's get it. Straight into the pull ups. And this is a calisthenics session at home. Pure body weight movements. As you can see, my progress has been quite good over the last year. And I aim to do 50 pull ups. That's 10 reps. Five sets. If you can't do that, just work yourself up to that so you can reach that level. I definitely recommend doing push ups, pipe push ups you're going to see all of that as well. Summertime coming up as well. So you know, gotta get ready for that. You can see I'm, I'm doing a different variation of pull-ups. So we got the wide grip, that's more for your lats and your back. Then we got that close grip, that's going to work your shoulders and your biceps. But all in all, pull-ups are good guys so go around that and then be there with my hands then we already know if you've been watching my thing then you know I'm still doing them supported so working our way up we want to be able to walk on our hands and do handstand push-ups free but yes 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 into the second chapter I'm gonna be doing the pipe push-ups like I said the pipe push-ups are the perfect workout if you want to build up that strength be able to do these calisthenics moves. Readjust the thing there. But yeah, I was doing pipe push-ups for a good six months before I was able to hold a handstand and doing a different variation of like wrist exercises. You have to do the wrist exercises in order to do this. Because if you can't support your body weight with your hands, you're gonna struggle. And again, 10 reps. 10 reps of a rest. Probably resting for like 60 seconds, maybe 2 minutes maximum. Because I don't want to lose that um, form. You don't want to rest too, too long. You want to rest just, just enough to get your heart rate back down. concentration car more times than that we're overthinking and we're going through this and we're going through that yeah just start the overthinking and just start working out for your mental health it's good for your mental health and it's not even a vanity thing like yes okay you're gonna see games you're gonna see you start to build up muscle and put weight and put 12 kg on by the way Seriously, this is like the main focus to get control over your life and your thinking and your mental health. But even then, like mental health is a strong word more times than not. It's just overthinking and recurring thoughts that stop progression. Oh, why did this happen? Oh, why did this person do that? Sometimes we just gotta have accountability for our own a actions. Jeez. Yeah, come on, come on. Alright, I'm just gonna bang out 25 push ups now. This is why I like this pull up frame, you know. You can find this pull up frame in the description. Just click on the link that will take you straight through to Amazon order these off on, online but it's a life changer man they're really good because they're versatile you can see i'm doing pipe push-ups normal push-ups you can do dips pull-ups you can even do the supported squats with them we're not playing no games you get me yeah straight into the last chapter we're gonna do legs car you say calisthenics athletes don't have legs or don't work legs of course we work legs man but if you like me like sometimes I do squats and I don't really get no pump like I don't get the same pump that I get from doing pull-ups and push-ups so 
this is why you see me do the one legged squat there. Yeah, and for this, I'm not gonna lie, semi long still car, it requires a lot of discipline because I do five sets. The first two sets is 10 reps each leg. Then I'll up it to 15, then I'll up it to 20, and then sometimes I finish on 25, or I just finish on the 20. But you see, when you're working legs, you have to do high reps. And when you're working upper body, you, you want to do uh, lower, lower reps or heavier weights. That's for like gym, even with the pull-ups thing. If you're trying to build muscle and get bigger, because obviously your legs is your foundation, so that's supporting everything. So higher reps is going to build up that muscle. You know, people, I'm thinking, yo, in my mind at this point, I'm thinking, nah, man, just keep going, car. Like, well, 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 I give up. Sometimes I ain't got the energy for this, but remember, you know, people, I do this every day. This is my calisthenic sets at home. Leg lunges, 120 reps. Do the pipe push ups, 50 reps. Do some normal push ups as well, that's like 20 25, and then the pull ups as well. So, we're getting a full body workout. Obviously, the video has been edited, but this usually takes me like 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how long I'm resting in between sets. And I usually do this uh, after the gym, go to the gym, do my weight session. If you've been watching my content, then you know that I'll be straight heavy reps, heavy sets, uh, low reps. Then, boom, later on in the day, come back, do the do, eat food, rest up, read a book. Oh, reading a book is good for the mind as well. A lot of the time, that's where my discipline comes from. Yeah, you know, scriptures, diligently following the laws that Jesus and commandments. But it makes a big difference, you know. You only have to look at the day and age that we're living in, and you see all the calamity and this and that. And a lot of people are like, ah, why is all of this? And why is all of these things happening to me? But a lot of the time, we have to take accountability for our own actions. You know, we got to be sober in this day and age. Remember when time I was smoking, drinking, partying, linking, girl. I was eating foolishness, bear fried chicken, and food fried in oil and you know not really taking care of myself moving mad on road and trying to make a quick buck trying to make big money fast you know what i'm saying sometimes you just have a bit have, have, have the patience and you know what the realest thing is i'm gonna tell you something real right now car we're living in a day and age where everybody's chasing after the money but the reality of it is you have to learn to be satisfied with yourself you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't love themselves, them feel like, alright, if I get loads of money now, then boom, my life's gonna be set. What the trick is, if you can set your life in your current state, be the person you want to be now, then that's gonna come. It's almost like when you're chasing after girl, you can run around chase after girl, it's like when the same boom. If you chase a dog, it will run, but if you run away from the dog, it will chase her. Same thing with the money and fitness and all your life goals. Sometimes you just have to stop chasing after it. Stop chasing after the money and all of these things and take a step back. But anyway, that's me. We don't know what you know. We're just coming up to the end of the thing. But at these times now, I'm tired. I'm done out. I'm looking to eat some fruit, put back some of that energy back into my body. Then more time I'm gonna eat some peanut butter and pasta. <laughs> Raw, I don't put, I don't really put no sauce in there. Just peanut butter in with the pasta. Raw like that. More time I'll eat that with fish, codfish or um just chicken breast. 